Hey, Sam here, and I want to show you how this software works. So, so this is Social Pop. Now, Social Pop works uh, really quite simply. Uh, it's going to work on your Amazon S uh, or Amazon affiliate campaigns. It'll work on your Shopify campaigns, bonus pages, JVZoo products that you're selling. It's a perfect asset um, to build scarcity for your customers. And this on my screen is what it does. You'll see here that it says there are 49 white label bonuses left of 50. This is on a bonus page of mine where I was actually offering 50 white label licenses to one of the softwares um, in the bonus that I was running for social video. What this software does, Social Pop, is it presents accurate numbers of how many bonuses are left, how many products are being sold, how much traffic is on a particular page at any one time, how many coupons are left, when a product is sold on your site, what types of products have been sold in the last 24 hours of your site. It's 100% flexible and really easy to use. So let me go across right now and show you how to set up the campaign that you saw just a moment ago. Now what I've done here is um, we've basically created a system where you can, much like Facebook, add conversion pixels to your thank you pages and we're also working on the integration with JVZoo at the moment. So the Social Pop system I'm just going to load this up so it's large, and uh, you'll see it right here on my screen, has all sorts of different campaigns you can run. So when you first get here, you'll basically see you've got a WordPress plugin, you've got campaigns, stats, analytics, and URLs. Now the URL is going to remain static as social pop, because um, if someone has social pop installed, it's going to, you know, it's for external domains as well. You can use these on external domains or internal domains, and everything that you see in this demonstration is included on the front end for your customers to get access to. So first of all, click add a campaign, um, and we'll go ahead and we'll set up a similar campaign to you what you just saw. We're going to add this as the social video campaign. Campaign one. Now we'll enter in our domain, which we're going to have this hosted on. So it's social um, uh, video. This is a custom path. Now this path is just if I want to use this plugin on an external website. Today I'm showing you how to use this on your own website, but if you wanted to, you would be able to do this on a external website. Now I've got to the social pop uh, campaign page. All right, so there's two steps: customize and style. We're going to name our pop-up, which is the social video campaign, and uh, number three. All right, now we're going to be using this on a bonus page, but if we didn't want to use it on a bonus page, we could actually use it on a product sales page, a e-commerce site page. There's many different uses for this. So these are the different campaigns that are pre-built into the system that you can utilize. There are currently X live visitors or people browsing this website. So say for example, you've got one hotel left for an offline business. You can actually say there are 10 people currently looking at this listing. All right, you can actually say that and it will give you a live visitor count um, for that particular page. You can say there are currently X amount of visitors, people from this city browsing this website. You can also say total visitor count. So you can actually say how many visitors in total have visited the website over the last 24 hours. You can say the total purchase count purchased this product in the last 24 hours. So 500 people purchased this membership in the last 24 hours, adding to the social proof for your customers. Also, there are X amount of products remaining. Um, there's also, uh, there are currently X people browsing this website, so how many people are actually on the website at, the, at that moment. This offer will expire with a countdown pop-up, or you can say someone just purchased this particular product today. So um, say for example, if you have a Shopify website, you can add this to Shopify, and it will actually pop up one of these pop-ups um, saying, Someone recently purchased a particular item. It might be a popular item or it'll actually show which product they recently purchased and it will be accurate as well. So there's many different applications of this. It's great for scarcity, great for social proof. It'll improve your conversions, help you make more sales and provide accurate numbers to, as to how many bonuses are actually um, going or how many products are being sold on your websites knowing that, you know, so you can show your customers proof. So let's choose the products remaining one. There are currently products remaining. Now we're going to customize this. So uh, there are products remaining, uh, white label bonuses left of 50. Cool. I can put it in, uh, you know, uh, speech marks if I wanted to. I can then state 50. All right. We're going to start a campaign by stating stating 50, and this is a wee preview over here of what it looks like right now. Now on this particular website, I've already set up these and I'm already running a campaign with it. So it's actually showing you um, that 47 have been sold. So there's actually only three left as I run this campaign. If I was starting a new domain that I hadn't used before, or if I deleted this current campaign, it would actually show 50 of 50. 
I then add a thank you URL. Now this isn't necessarily, um, this is basically the URL that people are going to go to. So it might be your bonus thanks page or it could be the OTO1 page if you're doing this through your own product launch. It could be your order page or your, your confirmation page if you're doing this through a Shopify website. Um, it could be the first link off the confirmation email or it could be you know an OTO1 page that um, you know if someone who is running this uh, if you're running a bonus campaign, I'll probably put this or ask the vendor to put this code on the thank you page. So in this case, it's probably going to be socialvideo.com slash OTO1, for example. We click next, and then we have these other settings that I've forgotten about. There's floating, there's fixed, we're going to make it fixed, and we'll make it in real time. So it's actually going to count down in real time. Click next and now we can customize our design of this pop-up. You can see a preview here of how it looks like. You can upload images, you can adjust the effects as it comes in as well so you can make it look really quite cool. We've got these different animations to help you uh, really stand out. You can also change the color as well if you like and we can upload an image or an icon into this as well. So say for example you know I was running this campaign I might want to um, say or state which white label product it is. Say for example I'm giving away Social Lead Chief. This is the Social Lead Chief logo. I might use that or I've got exclam exclamation marks in there right now. So what I might do is I might actually upload a image of myself. So someone sees my face popping up and they'll see that there's only 50 spots remaining. So let's just quickly find my face through all my different files. Here's my face. Open this up and I'll customize this image here so it actually shows my face in uh, exclamation marks, if I wanted to, I could say, you know, add to it, Sam Becker, so they know it's coming from me, and then I can click on style, customize the size of the text, the font, bold, italic, underline, and submit when I'm ready. Now we've completed our campaign, it's been saved. If we wanted to add more campaigns to this particular page, we could add more than one. You can click add pop-up again inside of our current campaign, and you could add literally as many of these pop-ups as you want. You could have three different pop-ups showing how much traffic is on the page, um, how many bonuses are left, and how, much, how, how long there is left to get these bonuses. All right, So you can actually add multiple social pops to add um, credibility to what you're doing on the page, to add scarcity, and um, to really encourage people to buy fast because others are already buying. Social proof is a huge pull factor when making sales online, and this software utilizes that to help you make more sales. Once you've finished this and you're ready to implement it on your website, really easy, we've created this uh, Facebook-like um, code and there'll be uh, bits and pieces being added to this as we move into launch but right now as you can see uh, we've got this header code and you basically go across to your blog your website and you add this code into the header section so I'm using optimized press for this particular bonus page I go into optimized press I go page settings you see other scripts here and I just need to go and add in my header so I'm just going to remove this remove that I go add new and I'd add in my header code right here I then click add new Click on the body, and this is the next code that needs to go into the body. All right, this is the tracking code. So we'll just add that in here into our body, and we're done. We click update, and then we just need to grab this URL right here. And if this URL is clicked, then it will basically trigger that conversion pixel. So it will show that one sale has been made. You can put this, say, for example, on your thank you page, or you just put this image right here. This is a pixel. And when this is triggered, if it's on the OTO1 page of an offer or on your bonus thanks page, it will actually trigger that and it will count, um, count the numbers down. And we tested this out. It's really accurate and it'll make it really easy, especially if you can get this on the OTO1 page of the product seller or on your own OTO1 page if you're using this on your own sales page. Um, it, it makes life really quite easy. So once that's done, that's done. Once that's finished, we click close. And then we can preview this on our website. So we've obviously added that in. We're going to go close or save and close. And then we'll be able to preview what this looks like and where it pops up. Now, these social pops can pop up anywhere on your website, all right? So right now, mine's going to pop up in the center of my video. I could have it on the right here. I could have it on the left here. I can have it in the bottom left, the bottom right. And it's going to count down that number as more copies go down. So as people are coming back to my website, they're seeing what I'm promoting. They're seeing how many people are buying and it's encouraging them to buy as well. You can also add how many members have joined in total. So if you had a thousand members join, you could say a thousand people have joined so far. Or you could say, you know, in two sales, the price is increasing. And you can actually show them 
how many sales are being made. Or you could say, for example, you know, there's 10 coupons left and you could count down the amount of coupons that are going and you could include that coupon code in the pop-up so people know that the coupon is going to expire when that pops down. So there's many different uses for this for all different types of niches, industries, and um, other sorts. And as it, pop, as it counts down, as you make more sales, it's going to get even more effective and really increase the scarcity that we use to sell so much um, over these various platforms. So you've seen that in action, there's a WordPress download or a plugin that's included with this as well, your API key uh, and your API secret. You basically have these, you download this pop-up and um, then you're able to add that information. It'll connect up and sync up with Social Pop and it'll make it really easy. We've also got analytics, so it'll show where in the world people are coming from, how things are going as well, or just grab a random campaign that we've set up. You can see the city where, it's, where traffic's been coming from. You can track results and track effectiveness. You can even track sales and how much money is being made, which is gonna be a really big pull factor for your customers as they go through and start using the system as well. To make things even more effective, you can actually use this on external websites. So on the front end, you can click this link right here, you can specify which external website you want this to pop over, and you can actually use this external link to have that popping over a website. Another really cool feature. You can delete these at will, you can edit them at will, you can grab uh, you know, uh, the data that you need at will, and it's a really easy system to use. It's gonna look great on your website, help you to really incorporate scarcity into yours and your customers' or subscribers' campaigns, and we're really excited about this launch. It's one of the reasons that we're being really generous. Uh, we are giving a lot. The sales page is going to be top quality, and um, yeah, I'm excited to be able to show you this. So thank you for listening. Uh, this is Sam Becker, and if you have any questions, let me know. Please reach out. Down below is all the other information on this page, and I look forward to talking with you again soon. See you later.